I just love uh, the psalm for today, morning prayer. It says, the heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands and their word to the ends of the world. Now the day, each day proclaims the glory of God and uh, isn't it wonderful that we're in, in uh, springtime and we're seeing that, that each day is, 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 a, is a testament to God's glory. In the, even in these troubled times, that is true. And then at the end of the psalm is another beautiful bit where it's a prayer and it says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And uh, it's a, I think it's a prayer that all of us can echo, can't we? Uh, even in these challenging times that our inner life and outer life would be pleasing to God. And I believe that, that when we have that genuine desire, then he loves that. God loves it. Loves, loves it when our hearts are inclined to please him. So even when we let him down, I believe that the fact that we want to please him pleases him. And, uh, and it's a reminder that God is our, ultimately our strength and our redeemer. The thing that strikes me about that, uh, or, the, or the memory that, that comes when I read those words, uh, those final words, may the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart be pleasing in your sight, O oh God, my strength and my redeemer. It takes me right back to when I sang that song um, while I was on my training or my selection conference to, to decide whether I'd be a vicar or not. And uh, Tim Hughes had written a version of, um, put the version of those words to music and I was singing them in the chapel and just pouring out my heart saying, God, I, I give all I am to you. you know, the words are beautiful. They, in the chorus they say, um, and I will give my heart to you, surrender everything I have and follow you. For this is what I'm glad to do. Uh, and it was a re and I, I really echoed that prayer in my heart that time. And I had a sense of God saying, look, I love the fact that you want to offer yourself to me. And I take your offering. I accept your offering. So just an encouragement for you today that uh, whatever you're offering to God today, however small you think it is, however... Uh, imperfect it is. God sees the meditations of your heart. He sees your desire to please him and he loves it. So continue. Keep on keeping on. Keep on seeking to please God. He delights in our offering to him. Amen.